right, Daisy, you think we should start this? We'll have fun. Hi friends, my name is Xenia and I'm the owner of Sonnenheide Yoga, Strada Studio on the countryside of southern Germany. We have a beautiful local community here and also a growing online community that makes me really, really happy. But also got another business and I became a mom this year. Our little Ari was born in June and my husband Tom and I, we're building a house. So this could really be a quite stressful and busy time. But I try to keep it as slow and as, as easy as possible. Yeah, because I really need to. So I'm sharing with you today some principles about business and ease, not as a pro in this field, but as someone who needs these principles for herself a lot and practice them with devotion because of that. <laughs> so I want to talk with you first about some principles I found useful for myself when it comes to starting a business, because I know that there are maybe some people uh, watching this, also thinking about starting their own business or creating a side job for themselves or just opening up a new chapter in their current job. And the second uh, part of my talk will be a little bit about some principles that I think are useful when it comes to navigating your business. So the first one, when it comes to starting your business, and this is something I, for myself, learned the hard way. It's to allow yourself, when you have an idea, maybe a dream, yeah, coming up inside of you, allow yourself to keep them for yourself for a little while. You don't have to share everything with everyone. There's beauty um, in letting it simmer a little bit and yeah, creating a little bit more clarity and confidence around this business inside of yourself because people only reflect the state of clarity and confidence you have back to you. You can't expect anyone to give you more confidence when it comes to your business idea than you have for yourself. So this is a nice one. And uh, second principle, and this is for everyone uh, of you, and I think it's maybe all of us um, who have a hard time getting just started with doing things and uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone. And the principle I found really useful, and this is something we always practice when we practice Strala, is, huh, start where you're comfortable, that there is not really a need to leave your comfort zone. There is always a lot you can do for yourself and your business as part of your whole world. You can do right now with the clarity you have right now, with the resources you have right now, with the person you are right now. <sighs> it's enough to focus on that because creating those activities um, inside of your comfort zone and doing these things you can do tends to expand your comfort zone in a natural way, if that makes sense. Um, and another point when it comes to yeah, comfort zone uh, stuff, a nice one is that it's really enough to focus on what you can do inside of your comfort zone and expanding it naturally because on one point or another, life will kick you out the comfort zone. That's just life, it happens. Um, I will tell you a little bit um, of a story that happened in my life and listen closely, I might not share it someone else this is the first time and maybe the last time I'm going to share it because it's one of the most embarrassing moments of my whole life. So this year in January I was invited by a huge company in the beauty and hair care industry 
to open up their yearly sales representative convention in Vienna. For me, this wasn't really the point that kicked me out of the comfort zone because I said, yeah, yeah, I can do this. I can stand on the stage, um, talk a little bit about self-care and social media and do a little bit of strata yoga movements and a little bit Tai Chi stuff um, with the audience. What they can do, seat it easily. But I imagined myself being on a stage um, in front of 100 women in the age between 20 and 35 because this is what I thought the audience would look like. But reality was <laughs> I found myself on the stage, pregnant woman with long blonde hair, talking about self-care and <laughs> wind shaking. Shaking your hands um, with um, mostly men between 40 and 50 years who weren't interested at all in anything I had to say about self-care and yoga and mindfulness. Um, yeah, um, yeah, it ended up they were laughing at me when I was still on the stage, um, giving me friendly applause in the end and I just left the stage uh, really embarrassed. But a few months later I can really laugh about it and also share it with you guys and I learned a big deal from all of it. So just an example that even though you don't plan leaving your comfort zone and you don't have to plan it, life will do this for you and yeah, that happens. Um, it's okay. The key is you don't have to stay outside of your comfort zone, traumatized and just feeling like I suck. <laughs> you can always relax, take a deep breath, come back to your center, come back to your comfort zone and back to this mode of expanding from here. It's always possible to return. So another point and the last point when it comes to uh, some useful principles I found myself for starting a business is when is the point when you are ready enough to really show up with your business in the world and this is when another nice principle from the Strala universe uh, comes in it's the principle of balance so waiting until you feel a hundred percent clear and prepared about what you want to do isn't for me at least isn't a really balanced point because eventually it never happens this point never comes when you feel like i'm perfectly prepared for the stuff i want to do it's kind of an extreme on the other scale there's this extreme of let's just do this kick it no preparation at all because i think giving ourselves some time and opportunity to prepare is also an act of self-care and respect for yourself and your dreams or the ideas you have for your business yeah and i think the right point to start to shop in the world is this feeling of being ready enough to make a move and to learn everything that has to be learned on the way as feeling of I don't feel 100% ready, like perfectly prepared, but I feel ready to learn everything that needs to be learned on the way. And when it comes to navigating your business, there's something beautiful that Tara also talks a lot about is this um, pointing yourself towards and feeling. It's not that there's anything bad about having goals and having goals um, when it comes to your business um, is healthy and to a certain degree, um, yes, of course. But staying connected and always coming back to the feeling you want to experience, the feeling you want to create for yourself and with your business in the world, it's good. It helps you staying on track and it also helps you figuring out what you really want to do. Because when you're a person like me, having lots of interests and wanting to try things out just to see how it goes, if it works for me or not, 
And this is fine. It's okay to open doors and step in a little bit. Just look how it feels, back off. Maybe save it a late for later. Maybe just hands off. Mm, it's really nice to focus and find the one thing you want to do at least for some time. Not to get so confused uh, with different stuff because it's nice when you, we give one thing our intention, the one thing that we really want to yeah, be of service with. And there's a question that I ask myself when it comes to this decision while doing my business, what I want to focus my energy on. It's not only the question what I want to do, because this can be a lot, but it's what is the one thing I want to become better and better and I will never want to stop learning. Yeah, this maybe helps you to focus your energy. Because when you found this one thing you want to focus on, at least for some time, um, it's also nice to use the principles, and I love it when Tara talks about it, to focus on becoming better in doing what you want to do and not becoming better and being successful in what you want to do. This is a hard one for me because, yeah, over the last three years, I yeah, developed some skills when it comes to marketing, when it comes to social media, when it comes to the back office stuff. But you do the things you really want to do when you do the things you really want to do. So it's all about doing the stuff that, that comes with your business, the whole stuff, with the back office, with the website, social media things, as easy and simple and as effective as possible. You can focus really on the things you want to do. Like when it comes to the question, do I need a website? Do I really need a website? Maybe my social media is enough or maybe there's someone who can create this website for me or when I don't have the money to pay this person who creates my website, I could use a simple tool like maybe Squarespace or something else to set up the website so that I can focus on what's really, yeah, what I want to do. Um, and another tool I use, for example, um, that people can book my online yoga classes easily is an app called Calendly. Um, it's really nice and smooth. It only takes 10 minutes for me to set up an event and people can pay via PayPal. There are a lot of tools out there and uh, yeah, it's really nice to use them to uh, create space around you to focus on the thing that you want to do. And this is the whole context of let the things around the thing you want to do support the thing you want to do in a way. And another really important point is let yourself be supported by other people. That's a huge one for a lot of us, but this is a practice is leaning on each other and also really asking for support that is really valuable at every stage of your life. Whether it's bringing your business to the next level or whether it's just healing and feeling better when you have some mental or physical problems. That's a nice thing and it's also the Strala principle that whatever helps you on in some way on some point at your life that really makes you feel better is maybe the same thing the same principles that help you feel better on a kind of a higher stage in your life whatever this is for you and the last thing i want to share with you is stay in touch with those people who walk a similar path as you do Stay connected with those who share the same interests. Keep this flow of inspiration coming because it's so nourishing for both sides. 
And that's why I'm really grateful for the opportunity to talk with you guys about this nice business and ease principles. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, Mike, for the opportunity. And if you want to ask me any questions or just reach out and say hi, feel free. I'm always happy to help or just happy to connect with you. You find me on Instagram. Um, at xenia.greta always happy to hear from you guys sending you lots of love